Okay guys, so we're back and in this video, I'm going to continue talking about Cognito, which is a service from Amazon. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the user sync. So in our last video, we just set up our federated identities, which was an unauthorized identity. So if I go in here, you have the dashboard. In this video, what I'm going to want to do is actually um, create an identity for this user. So this user has this custom ID, which is based on their device. So our uh, simulator device. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data set uh, for this user. And it's going to basically uh, show you, let me show you guys uh, this. So in the last video, we basically just copy this information from the AWS website for syncing users. I'm just going to cut this out of here because we don't want it here, but we're going to actually want it in our view controller. So what we're going to do is we're just going to control the background of this view controller um, as the user slides to the right or to the left is going to either increase or decrease the blue and red values. Okay, so it's something super simple and I provided a link to this in the description below. If you guys want to follow along, you can open up this uh, project. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go and quickly just attach uh, some of these UI elements. Um, the only thing I have here is I have a slider, some labels and a button. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to our view controller class. All right, so I'm just going to select our view controller, actually automatic view controller. I'm just gonna drag these elements here. So I have the slider here, and then I'm going to have an action, an outlet and action for the slider. And I'm also going to have a button, save changes. And I actually have to do this over again. So let me fix this. Slider action, remove that. I'm just gonna make that action. All right, so now I have everything connected. AWS Cognito. And this, so, this is so that we can grab that data back from our data set that we're going to be creating. The first thing we're going to want, we're going to want to create some variables. The first one being we're going to want to have access to our sync client. So I'm just going to sync client, which is going to be an AWS Cognito. We're also going to have our data set, which is going to be AWS Cognito data set. Okay. And then we're just going to want to actually get a set of value or have a value that's going to be our background color. So our background, right? And we're just gonna start it off at zero, but we're gonna do a did set um, in this. So once someone sets this, we're gonna call a function to change the background color. Let's call it change background color. And we're gonna pass in a float. So current uh, red value, okay? and it's going to be the background color. All right, so we actually don't have this method. So let's go ahead and create that. So I'm just gonna drop down all the way to the bottom and just say function change background color. I'm going to have a red value and I'm going to say it's going to be a float. And what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to change the background color. Well, first I'm going to change our slider value. That value is going to be equal to our red value. And then our view dot or our background color is going to be equal to a UI color. And it's going to be a little color red our red color our red value is going to be our value for the red green we're not going to worry about so I'm just going to put zero there and then our value for blue is going to be one minus the value of red so it's just going to be it's going to slide between red and blue 
and then one for alpha. Okay, so for our slider, what we're going to do is just that background color, right? So background color is equal to our, our slider dot value. The user can set this preference to have a blue background. And what we want to happen is once the user logs back in, that background changes back to blue. So let's go ahead and take care of that part. So let's go ahead and set up our sync client and our data set. So our sync client is going to be equal to our AWS cognito dot default. Okay, and our data set is going to be equal to our sync client that we just set up and it's open or create data set. And I'm going to just say it's going to be named uh, my data set. So this way, if you look at the documentation that's on the AWS console or AWS website, it'll look the same. So now that we've done that, we want to get a value if we have it for our background. So I'm just going to say guard let value equal our data set not string for key. And then we're going to call this my background. We won't have this when we initially start out. So else we're going to return right. And then if but once we do have it, we want to actually update our background color so that it updates our background. So I'm just going to say background color is equal to the float value of the value that we got from our database here. So this value. So another thing we're going to want to set up is the change. So when we do uh, save or hit the save button, we want to save whatever value we have for our background, our red value, we want to save that to our database. So how do we do that? Well, we just go ahead and say, say data set dot set string. And we just want to save our, the value that we have for background. So I'm just going to say background. And I want to save that as my background. So I'm just going to copy this. And then I want to go ahead and sync my data set. Data set dot sync dot continue with block. If you want to say, let's say task dot is complete. So once if task dot error is not is equal to nil. So if we don't have an error, Else we're going to return. All right, so let's see what happens here. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. All right, <clears throat> so here's our um, little app. So if we just slide this, you see it'll change colors. The closer, the more red that we have, uh, the redder it is, the less red it becomes more blue. And say we want to maybe, oh, this is a pretty color. So now that we have it like this pretty cranberry color, let's go ahead and hit save. And as you see down here, uh, save to AWS Cognito. So if we stop this and play it again, we should actually have that same red color. All right, so our color is still red and just to make sure that everything makes sense, let's save it to purple. I'm gonna hit save, it's saved to Cognito. We're gonna stop it and then we're gonna play again. All right, so it's that really cute purple color. And let me just show you guys what um, Cognito is looking like in AWS. So if I just refresh this, I have this my data set for this user. So if I go into identities, this is the user or this is the ID, the unique ID that AWS assigned to the device. If I click on this, I have my data set here. If I click in here, here I have uh, my background 
and this is the value of the red so it saves the value of the red color so that way when we open back up we grab this convert it to a float and then save it back so all right guys so that is about it for this um, what we've done is we've updated this value uh, to Cognito we synced it back and we allow our users to update that the background color you can use this for stuff like maybe a preference and layout a color scheme that you may have and the user can set if they want a light or dark scheme for your app so it's a ton of different options for this uh, you guys can use if you guys have any questions please comment below and until next time later